What's up, YouTube? Protech here, back with another top of the ladder game for you. <clears throat> here we have a uh, random Zerg versus a Zerg random on the flooded city. At the time of making this video, my current rank on the uh, North American server is rank 5, I believe? So it's Zerg random, and when you think about it this way, from a random perspective, you have a 33% chance to spawn a certain race, right? So 33% chance to spawn Zerg, 33% chance to spawn Terran, or 33% chance to spawn Protoss, right? So whenever I play against a random player in 2v2, I always, I always do a build that should, in theory, work 66% of the time. It's more or less a gamble because in this particular game, for instance, I'm going to be opening with fast Cyclones, which can be incredibly bad against two Zerg. Of course, that really all just depends on how the Zerg players open, but typically speaking, going for fast Cyclones is really bad against two Zerg. Because you can just very easily lose to lots of speedlings, right? Well, here in this game, we can see that the random player didn't spawn Zerg and he spawned Terran, right? And this is because I rolled the dice more or less due to that percentile. So when you think about it that way, more often than not, you're going to run into situations where if you've established certain builds that work in certain matchups, you'll have a better win rate. Why? Because let's say, for example, in this game I went for like a one barracks fast expand with Marines. Well, that's really, really bad against ZT. So, you know, it's about coming up with a build that works in all matchups, and then more or less rolling the dice. So here in this game we can see that I've gone for these Cyclones, right? And this is actually really, really good. Not necessarily ideal, but it's really, really good. As you can see, this guy's going for the same thing, right? Because I've gone for this build, now I get his reactor, and I'm going to be producing two Cyclones while he is only going to be producing one. Now the thing I have to be careful of is uh, his teammate spamming Zerglings. There you go, right? So I need to make sure that my teammate has lots of Speedlings if I want to commit to an attack. I'm going to expand behind this, because that's what you do in Legacy of the Void, you expand. Micro that back a little bit, we can take a loss, hell yeah, and game over. So you can see, with just that simple concept of... using percents in your advantage, right? There was a 33.3% chance that going for a reactor factory open in this game was not going to be good. However, there was a 66.6% .6 chance that going for a reactor factory play was going to be really good. 
And that's just kind of how my mind operates when I play games in random 2v2. There's a big difference between playing the arranged team ladder and playing the random team ladder. There's a very, very big difference between the two. And, you know, you just... To be high ranked, you really have to come up with builds and come up with strategies that work in every scenario. Bad teammate, good opponents. Good teammate, good opponents. And so on and so forth, right? So as you guys can see, that was a very quick game, but it's this is the kind of thought process that you need to have when you're playing random 2v2. So I want to thank you all for uh, tuning into the video. Hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the content, um, and located at the top left of the screen are all of the April um, supporters. So thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys with the next video. Peace out.